Ladies and gentlemen, the ANC's leadership remains divided on crucial matters. Lindy Wesisulu gave us hope that in the ANC, Bakona Labo, Amakanda Wawo, Asasebenzayo. Those with the working mind are asking the question, why is it that the ANC cannot go into a coalition government with a black party? Lindy Wesisulu also adds that they should never ever get into a coalition government with the former apartheid DA party. She says ideologically, it does not make sense for the ANC to twin up and work together with the DA when they are fighting on crucial matters that has to do with black people's lives. Now, this is very interesting because originally the ANC secretary general said they are open to talks with everyone, including the DA. Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I am your host, King 053, Mr. Easy Imali Eneng Eneng. And we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, let me touch on the comments made by Umamu uh, Lindy Sulu And just also get into a deeper analysis and analytic um, breakdown of why I believe the ANC should rather work with the MK and the EFF instead of, you know, digging their own grave and working with the DA. Okay, before we start, we have to, uh, for those, for the benefit of those who might not know Mamulindi Wesisulu, she is a daughter of very prominent ANC a former liberators, f freedom fighters, community activists, Ubabu um, Walter Sisulu and Ubabu Albert, Umamu Albertina Sisulu. She was called as Umam, Umam, Umam Sisulu. Um, Walter Sisulu was serving with um, the former president, U Nelson Mandela. I, I think he was the secretary general of the ANC and then later became the deputy president to Nelson Mandela of the ANC. And obviously the struggle credentials and the groundwork, the underground work of Mama Albertina Sisulu are unquestionable. If you don't know about that, you have to go and do a little bit of research. Lindy Sisulu is a person who has served in various portfolios in um, in South Africa's government, um, uh, ranging from um, Minister of Defense Force, public, uh, public service, international relations, that's where she makes most of her mark, and human settlement. And I want to believe right now she's serving as um, Minister of Tourism, okay? So she, she was in an interview and she made some serious remarks beautiful remarks for us who are Pan-Africanists because we want to hear people in the ANC speak this language. We want to hear the, the leader of the ANC speak this language because we want to we want to know that they still hope for the ANC or otherwise the ANC is over forever. I'm telling you, if the ANC hits in the local elections, things like about under 80%, I'm telling you, the ANC will never recover. But if there's still people like Abu Mamulindi Yosisulu who are still speaking things that make sense, then my, there might just be hope for the former Liberation Party. Let's quickly listen to what she said and let's break it down with your boy, King 053, Mr. Easy Imaleneng talking about. The position of speaker, it could be the position of chairs of different committees in parliament. Why do we need to be monitored? Why do we need to be monitored? The, the system that we have right now works very perfectly. We have our own system in which we account to our people what it is that we're doing except, and what it is that we're not doing. Except, we don't need a class monitor from the DA. Why would we take one party that is so ideologically at odds with ourselves? Because what you, has the DA done yeah. to show that they are concerned about the plight of black? Let's just put it together. A few of the 
things that they have opposed us on. The NHI just re very recently, and you can go on and on. Because they have a privileged background that they can fall back on. We have years and years of underprivileged people that we have to cover for. Why would we choose a DA? So here, here's the, the conundrum here, uh, Mr. Sulu. The problem is, as the ANC, you don't have the majority government like you used to, where you can be in control of the executive and be in control of parliament. You've got to choose at some point what you're willing to compromise on because the voters in this country have said 40% um, is what you deserve. And that's not enough for you to be control of the executive and still want to occupy all the key positions in parliament. So what are you willing to compromise on? We're willing to compromise on many things, but we're not willing to compromise on the, on the DA agenda. We have many black parties in parliament and together we are able to form the necessary majority that is required by the constitution. Which other parties do you think would be best suitable to go into coalition with the ANC? Uh, well, we could take m many of the other black parties that are there uh, because they cover the, a wide spectrum of, uh, of, of people that we're responsible for. Uh, why don't we take, say, um, the uh, IFP? No. Why don't we take the um, newly formed um, MK party? MK why don't we take any of the others? Why would we go for the DA? What, what puzzles me is we're just so ideologically at odds with each other. It just hasn't worked. And I've given you an example where a government has not been able to work and a decision was taken that those who are not in a position to continue yeah. with a, a, the ANC ideology have withdrawn. Why should we repeat something that we have learned something from? We have very little in common with the, with, with, with the DA. And the DA has insidiously over time tried to implant their own ideas into how we relate to our people. I'll take an example of a time when uh, the president gave a speech in parliament. It was the opening of parliament. And uh, for two or three paragraphs, he seemed to be quoting the DA. There was an uproar. Afterwards, the DA comes out and says, we're terribly sorry. We gave the president uh, our constitution so that he can consider it and uh, we don't know how it worked out like this maybe there was a confusion there was no confusion it was deliberate it was deliberate they have been insidiously trying to get into the ANC and see how mm -hmm. they can control government through the ANC and you can see how they're putting themselves out yeah. there are many other black parties okay. representing the majority take, of our people yeah, that yeah. can come together Mm. Let's, take, let's take one of the parties you've mentioned. Let's say the, the MK party, for instance. The only challenge with that is that it is said that the MK party's possible condition is that President Cyril Ramaphosa has to step down. And the ANC Secretary General, Fiki Lembalula, says they will not negotiate with a party that even suggests the president of the ANC has to step down. You know, negotiations will not be done overnight. That might be the first uh, um, what uh, demand from the from the newly formed MK party for various reasons, uh, and that is the first response of the of the ANC uh, for various uh, reasons. Coalitions are built over time. We ourselves have built this particular democracy over time through negotiation and understanding what is in the best interest of our people. And my view is that the DA partner is not in the best interest of our people. The majority of the people to whom we still have so much to deliver is yeah. black, remains very marginalized. Why would we choose the DA as a partner? Why? So do you think that the ANC must entertain the MK party even with the demand that it comes with that the president I did, Ramaphosa? I, I did. I did not bring the uh, MK party onto the table. You did. Yeah, and I'm asking there, what your thoughts are. There are, there are many other parties that, that, that we could bring onto, on, onto the table and work out an arrangement to go forward to make sure that we are able co to constitute um, you know, the kind of uh, requirement that the constitution puts before us. So do you hear it, ladies and gentlemen, some, 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 some comments that a fair that clarifies that to us as the people who are watching from outside that the ANC remain very divided in crucial matters. Now, Lindy Osisulu, for me, this was a good interview for her. It's an interview actually that she held back. She's not a person to, to bite her tongue. 
She's a straight shooter shooting from the hip. She never uh, holds a word. I think in this interview, she actually uh, 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 treaded carefully and never went to the point where she, the, the, the interviewer wanted to, uh, her to go. She just played around with it. Uh, by the way, thank you for someone who pointed this interview out for me on the comment section on my last video asking King, um, can you cover what Lindy Osisulu said? Because Angna TV, uh, I did not know. And I think I must switch from Facebook to um, Twitter because when I went to Twitter, I found the clip very easily. Facebook is Alangam. So Lindy could have said far worse. She, in the past, she, has, she had said far worse oh, Lindy Osisulu. She does not play Olo Mamalo. And um, her struggle credentials are also clear. You don't want to, to mess with her. She clearly says, uh, states, why is it that the, um, the ANC must work or go in coalition with the DA? They've got nothing in common with the DA. They, you know, and about to, they fail to remember. Because if the ANC goes into a coalition government with the DA, they will be saying, let's reward apartheid people. Uh, uh, the apartheid government for killing our heroes. You can't sing Yo Solomon, Solomon, Yo Solomon, and then work with the DA. We, I'm sure we are Slania. Utamon, the man um, Leon, is the, the judge that sentenced um, the hanging of Solomon. That judge's son, Tony Leon, is the one that formed the DA. And then today, on top of the grave of Solomon, on top of the blood of Solomon, you want to work with the DA. That's not possible. If, if the ANC knows itself, because the question is, does the ANC still know its identity? It's a relevant question to ask today. Does the ANC still know its identity? It, it shouldn't be a question as an ANC person on and on, who's got pride, who's got history, political education, to say where now you want to work with the DA. But the same DA's forefathers are the ones that, hey, that hanged Solomon. 20, 21 years old, hanged him for nothing. For nothing. So it cannot be. I, for me, the death of the ANC starts there. The, the, the victory of, listen, I'll, I'll get into that later. Let me, let me pack that. Like, Ibambe, Ibambe, net lapo, Ibambe, net lapo, question mark, uh, whatever you want to put in there, full stop explanation. Or angazu so faga and lapo, but faga something in Zobuya. She says, uh, she says, one thing I like what she said, and this is why I know she's, She's a, she's a true Pan-African inside. She says, why don't we work with uh, the other black parties? Oh, yes. Yes. Why don't you work with the other black parties? Why is it that we black people have got a sickness? Oguti, we cannot sit down with our differences to work together in the benefit of the larger community of the broader people of South Africa. Why is it who gave us that sickness? Who must cry? Who must cry the cry of black people that they can be heard? Are we children of a lesser God that our, our, our cries are heard by nobody? Listen, God is not coming, ladies and gentlemen, anytime soon, by the way, if you believe in Christianity. God sends his people to work and save their people. The leaderships, uh, if you read any religious book, the leaderships are, are of any country are appointed by God, apparently. So they are there for a reason to save their people. The ANC needs to come back and say, who are we as the ANC? Look aside and say, listen, we are working with our brothers. Lindio says, there's so many other black parties. The, the IFP for me is not a good, good option because it sold out a long time ago. But so did the ANC. But if you mix the EFF somewhere there, if you mix the, 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 the MK somewhere there, I'm happy. And if you mix the MK, I want Jacob Zuma as the president. 
Yeah, yeah, I said it, man. I said it. So ideologically, they, they are so different that they want different things. The DA can never, ever speak about land expropriation, land restoration, you know, economy restoration. They can never speak about those things. The DA wants to clean the streets, collect the, the, the waste, um, make sure the lights are working, create jobs, let people get uh, jobs, uh, let the crime go down. That's what the DA will sing, thinking that is what black people want. But the black people are slowly waking up because they are watching King say so. They are slowly waking up to say, ah, but this thing I see is Sasebenza every year, but we don't see even where our salaries are going because we don't have land, because we don't have any ownership of our strategic st uh, sectors. In the financial sector, we're not there. In the, in the agriculture sector, we're not there. In the mining sector, we're not there. But Sasebenza every year. Oh, all we do as yes, black people is get paid Pay the in car installment, pay the house installment if you do have those things. They are still at home. At advanced ages, still at home because they can't even afford to rent. That's why they are taxi A2 to go to get to work and come back to Texas. These people never see the sun from their township, never see the sun from their home during the week. But Vuga, the sun is still not there. When the sun arises, they are already in a taxi. They are already in uh, their way, way to home. When the sun sets, they are in a taxi on their way to home. Mama says, during the week, they don't see the sun. Imagine. So, managing Funa, black people need in Funa um sevens, in Funa um sevens. To myself, I'm like, Ish, Vugani. Vugani. Le um sevens, in Funa yo. It's not going to truly liberate us as black people. And I've warned you enough, you black people. I wake up, man. Vugani, man. If your government can have control of strategic sectors, I'm telling you, uh, the NHI will be a, a, a problem of the history. Uh, quality education, new school, better houses, better land, better everything. Everything will go well if your, 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 your government can just manage the resources that it has. I keep on repeating to you guys that the oil reserve that Dubai has, the, the Saudi Arabia, um, Nigeria has got more oil than that country. Angola has got more oil than that country. And um, what is it? Uh, do I want to say Ghana and, and uh, Cadavor, Ivory Coast? They've got more oil. Gabon, they've got more oil than that country. But how they manage their oil is simply disgusting because they don't own. There's no oil refinement that is happening in their country. The oil of Nigeria goes to China, then China refines it and sells it back to Nigeria. What type of nonsense? Oh, so we are the black people. Anyway, let's get into this thing. Now, the issue with the alliance, because I wanted to touch on that. I wanted to touch on that deeply so that you guys know is when. It's just a shame that the, the EFF has said now it's fine if the ANC wants to keep uh, Sira Ramaphosa. When Julius Malema was going into virus stations saying it's a non-negotiable, we don't want to work with, with Sira Ramaphosa. But let's leave what the MK wants. Let's leave what the EFF wants. Let's leave what the IFP wants. Let's leave whatever everyone else says. You, the ANC, your leader has taken you from 57% in 2019 to 40% in 2024. Speak to your leader. Don't listen to other parties. Is this a leader you want to continue uh, to lead this party. The ANC has to have that. Listen, it's not about your term is not finished. No. It's about the performance of the national elections that just transpired. I don't know, the ANC, if you are part of the rigging. I'm not sure if you will rig and lose. That will be very stupid. I'm not sure if you are influencing in the... I'm not sure. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um, accuse you of anything i'm i'm saying the anc laliland ozanla ozanla your leader has taken you below 50 percent in fact i want to find a a um, an interview 
where he was asked what would he do if he goes under 50 percent he says something like i i i would step down um no I, I, i'll search i will search for it if i don't post it on this video i'll search i'll continue searching for it when he was campaigning he was so confident that listen there's no way i'm going to be president i'm going we we are not looking at coalition we're going to be uh we're going to get 50 plus one percent for sure what is happening in the streets when he was looking at the campaign looking at how people are turning out all that those millions of rents wasted in campaigning to get to 40 percent you as the anc need to say about leadership norman um we think you should you should step step down um for your integrity for your integrity step down now so that the ship does not further sink and then end up drown, uh, drowning you. Ha, they're going to fall one by one. Zikotwa is already in court. Fikile Mbalula has to answer for his trips. Mashatila has to answer. They, they're they all going to fall one by one. I'll cover those stories once, uh, one side. they all going to fall one by one. No Siviwe Namanguka. She's also falling. Former Speaker of Parliament. They are all going to fall one by one. The question is, when you see yourself falling, what do you do, Cyril? What do you do? I'm, I'm a Cyril, let me... Okay, all of you Pumane Rumi, let me speak to Cyril alone. Let me speak to our president alone. Let me speak to my former president. Uh, Puman, 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 Puman. Get out, get out. Puman, Puman. You log in after I'm done speaking to the president. My president, you know your story. Nobody has to remind you. You know your relationship you know your father's relationship with the apartheid government you know your relationship with the Oppenheimers. you know how you became rich you know exactly everything you know how money is washed via you you know how palapala is a is a washing is a dirty money washing machine you know how you balloon those uh, those amounts of those cows you know how the bidding uh, situation happens how they bid the auctions of the cows you know why they are paying those amounts of money you know we, do, we don't know i'm speaking to you my president you know you know you know now your performance is disgusting to say the least i have to tell you straight my president i have to tell you straight it's disgusting you, this, this party is not yours. ANC are bound to leave. And you have managed to run it to the ground. You cannot, you can my president, come, man, come to us. Don't want to make a noise. I'm saying, you cannot blame Zuma anymore. Who? Why are you blaming Zuma? Zuma, when Zuma was running, there was no low shading like you did. Zuma never sold the ASA. Zuma never destroyed uh ask them, like you did translate i can quote i can go on and on my, my, my president but i don't I, I out of respect say i'm saying you know what is happening in fact my president i would even say you know who, why it is happening because we as black leaders we have failed to stand up and have integrity you you guys sold the anc not only the ANC, you sold the African hope. The African agenda was put in under a table and you protected the white monopoly capitalists. You did it. Now, I'm saying to you, President, to say this before I call the other people to come back to the chat. I'm saying this to say this. Your life is not going to be smooth going forward because of that pala pala mistake that you guys did. Because of that mistake of what you guys did because of you and Zondo releasing the killer of Chris Honey. You, 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 you released it was during your term, my president, that you allowed this. During Zuma's term, the killer of Chris Honey already saved this life sentence. But Zuma and Mukwing Mukwing said no. But you and Zondo said yes. Let's leave that one, my president. Things are not going to get easier going forward. You have to come with an exit strategy. And unlike the other politicians, you don't have financial problem. You will fight these things in court. 
and you will get the minimum punishment for it in court in court maybe even a suspended sentence my president but you have to be honest with yourself and say i can continue like this because you as a black president will not be able to sleep without sleeping pills let, and let me call the others back my president guys come back come back come back come back come back okay so excuse me uh so guys the eff the nk and the ANC have got a two-third majority. It's time for history to be made. The only way the, the current leadership of the ANC, and listen, the Bazuba attack, because Bebakulumi Doti, Ngomsholozi, Abu Fikile Mbalula, all of them, they will, Bazo Doti, all of them. If the only way they, they, they can be heroes is if, is if and only if, they make a coalition government of two-third majority and make Jacob Zuma a president. That's the only way. Because we will say, okay, even when they were they were falling, they never thought about themselves. They thought about the greater need of black people. That's the only way. That's the only way the ANC can become heroes. The only way they can win right now is if they say, ah, let's work with this EFF. Anyway, this EFF is ANC. Let's work with Mkonto. Anyway, the, a, the, a, the MK is the ANC. These people come from us. Let's work with them. Let's change completely the leadership structures. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the black people. In our falling, let's liberate our people for the second time. Let this be truly our 1994. That's the only way. You go, you go in the comment section and talk to your boy king. Talk to me. For me, I'm willing to forgive them. Me, 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 me. Me no king angas ngao. Me, I'm willing. I'm willing. Mang bonu fikile u u sister Petina Angeleni. I'm willing to shake his hand and say, "No, well done, comrade." I'm willing to forgive. The reason why I'm willing to forgive is because we black people have forgiven our colonizers. Nina, not Mina. Nina, Nina, Nbugelela. You have forgiven your colonizers. Completely forgiven them. So, for me, I'm willing to forgive my African brothers and sisters because I'm a pan-Africanist. If they come back and say sorry, and they change their ways, and show in action that they are truly sorry, I'm willing to forgive my African brothers and sisters. And the only forgiveness I'll give them is if they give Um Sholozi two-third majority. And even if you give it to Julius Malema, whoever you give it to, but not for any leader in the ANC to become a leader. Show us that you are not selfish, that you are selfless and you are doing this for the greater need of the people, the black people. And cut up Gaten McKenzie out and Linga Sevens in a loyal party lay. Lesso spoon, less. Don't work with that one. Work with the, the, the ANC and the EFF and then control. And then. After working with the ANC and the EFF, reconcile those parties, man. This, this stupid thing of us African people being constantly divided, young poor, it makes me sick to my stomach. Reconcile those three political parties, go into an election and re-elect a leadership that, is, that concludes of those three parties. You can have Buisan and Josie there, you can have Nkamulonjela uh, there, you can, you can mix the way you want to mix. To do Zile, uh, Zuma there, whatever you want to mix, mix the way you want to mix it, but make these three parties one party. In fact, I'll make a video, a separate video about that topic only. So yes, that's what I wanted to say about Lindy. I spent too much time on this video, but anyway, I'm back at home. You guys are getting videos. Hello. Kalo, kalo, kalo. So thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Thank you to everyone that has also subscribed to the sister channel, uh, African Mojolo with your boy King. There, I'm not going to disagreement anything in that part. I'm not going to But anyway, there's 200 people that have decided to support my other second channel, the African Mojolo with King, where we discuss uh, dating, marriage, and um, giving advice of everything that has to do with a relationship from a pan-Africanist, not a pan-Africanist, from an African point of view. Pan-Africanism says a cousin, sorry. So until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. But after you pray, 
Stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in pan-Africanism. I salute you.